Hi there, in this lesson we're going to look at how to calculate the area of an inverted kite or a V kite. Now all that's happened to this kite is the long bit at the bottom has been tucked up inside, as since it's inverted if you like. Um, it's quite often the type of kites you'll see flying around, but it's still a kite shape. Now before we go on to working out the area of this inverted kite, I'm just going to have to do a wee bit of triangle work. So bear with this and then we'll get back to the kite. So instead of just working out the area of a right angle triangle, there's a couple of other triangles you can work out um, using the area formula, which is this one here, when you've got the base and the height. This is an isosceles triangle, and it's easier to look at it in this diagram here. Now, if we think about the surrounding rectangle and think what fraction this is in the whole, in terms of how many of them fit into the surrounding rectangle, well, if you take this side here, and I turn it around, like that, and then flip it, then you should see that the triangle is exactly half this surrounding rectangle. So if you work out the surrounding rectangle using the 14 and the 6 and half it, you'll get the area of the triangle, which is just the same as before, base times height divided by 2 or half base times height. So we just carry on, uh, half 14 times 6. You could half the 14 get 7 times 6 and 42 metres squared. So the half base times height works with this type of triangle as well. And also this type of triangle where you've got the base of 10 and a height of 8. Now notice the heights at right angles to the base here. It's not this diagonal line. <clears throat> and if you wanted to work out the area of this triangle, you would just do the same thing. Half times 10 times 8. You can see that's going to be 40, but 5 times 8, 40 metres squared. But why is that working? Now let's have a look at this wee idea down here. So there's the same triangle. I've just put this extra measurement of 5 in, just at the bottom here. But if you look at this, can you see there's a big blue triangle around outside? And then I'm looking at this red one, which is the white bit here. Now if you take away the wee white bit from the surrounding blue one, you'll be left with the pink ones, which we're after. Right, so the surrounding right angled blue triangles, 15 by 8, you add the 10 and the 5, so 15 by 8 and half it, half times 15 times 8, so it's probably easiest to do 4 times 15 there, which is 60, and this bit's just 5 times 8 divided by 2, which is 20. Now if you subtract this bit from the surrounding bit, you'll get the pink bit, which is 60, take away 20, which makes 40. So this formula works for these three types of triangles, a right angle triangle, an isosceles type of triangle, and this type of triangle here. Now you'll notice that the base and the height are always at right angles. They must be for it to work. Which leads us back to this idea here. Now, when you're working out the area of this, what this is made up of is basically two of those triangles that we just talked about. So there's your kind of base, if you like, which is 10, and I suppose the height of this would be really 17. So that would be 10 times 17 halved. And then you would do the other side, which would be exactly the same. Uh, this side here, which would be 10 times 17 halved. So that side's a half of 170, and this side's half of 170. And then you would add them together. I suppose if you have 170 and add a half of 170, you get 170, don't you? Easier to do it, just do 34 times 10 and half your answer, because a half of 340 is 170. So we can just do the same thing, diagonal times diagonal, this time here, um, to divide it by 2. So the formula works exactly the same for this, using that theory of the this type of triangle. So let's have a look at two examples here I've got. Now the important thing is to notice to find the diagonals. Now the diagonals are the same idea, going from the corner point to the corner point. So this example, the diagonal is 18, and the other diagonal is 8. So formula, half d times d, so it's going to be a half 8 times 18. Probably easiest to half the 18, so 8 times 9, and you get 72 centimetres squared. For this last example, I've put extra information in, but you're trying to spot the diagonals. So the first diagonal is 14, and the other diagonal is from corner point to corner point, which is 26. So it's a half 26 times 14. Now you could do 13 times 14, but it's probably easier to do 7 uh, times 26. And then that's going to be 140 plus 42, which is 182 centimetres squared. So just use the same formula for this type of triangle. Uh, sorry, this type of kite. 